Matthews is the host of Hardball here on MSNBC and the author of Jack Kennedy Elusive Hero, a book I have heard is one of the best, if not the best books on Kennedy out there. How are book sales, Chris? It's number three. It actually is the best book. It, it, it is, it's actually the people that know their business have Let's said it's it the best book. Let's hold it up so we can book. see it. Yeah. It's a beautiful book. Thank it's a beautiful you. You're, book. And you're a star, too, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm only learning from the best here. Right. So, so, Chris, I, I want to talk to you in particular about the, this Hillary moment and, and how she's changed, really, as Secretary. Well, you know, I may tell you something. I think you're seeing... Uh, uh, I know the theme of this segment, and I like it, because I think it, the public is seeing the private Hillary. Exactly. And, uh, and Harold knows this. I mean, there is a Hillary, like most public figures, there's... Uh, Bill Clinton is Bill Clinton all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and I think you and I are basically all the time the same person. No, really. But some public figures really freeze on television. They have a, a colder persona. Al Gore could be cold and hot. And he could be anything in private. You never know what you're going to get. But some guys are really more fun, or women are more fun. And per Hillary Clinton, and, and I think she has to be... I think women are, by the nature of professional behavior, you have to be much more professional and formal than men most of the time. It's just the way things are evolving now. But Hillary Clinton is very professional and very formal in public generally. But in private, she's very regular and even sometimes girlish. I mean, she's, she has a very a spontaneous manner. And has a sense of humor. I mean, oh, I, yeah. when, well, right after, you know, uh, coalition forces got Gaddafi, my favorite was the, sort of her reaction there. And I think we have the tape of this when she first finds out that, that, that Gaddafi has been captured, if not killed. Yeah. Landed unconfirmed. Yes, yes. we came. We saw he died. <laughs> Did it have anything to do with your visit? No. Uh, we came, he saw, we saw, he died. Well, also, and, 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 and I think just another tone. Remember the scene of her, the still, maybe you have it somewhere uh, in the archives here, of her in the sit room where she's watching the yep. horrible thing going. How many people watch During killing? Bin Laden, yeah. and how many people watch a killing in her I've never seen a killing in real life. And, and for her to watch that, and she goes like this, like a normal reaction, everybody says, what's that? That's what a person does. You go, oh my God. And so that's fine. And he's also part of her too. She's a human being. Well, and I think it's not just the spontaneity, but it's the warmth too. And the sense that she's yeah, well, genuinely enjoying her job, which let's be fair, has been one of the toughest jobs in the administration. I mean, this is someone- It's also the greatest job in the world. Uh, that's let's, true let's too. Alex, is there anybody in the world who, who, who went to college who doesn't want to be Secretary of State? It is the greatest job it in the world. It is the greatest job in the world. It but is the greatest job in the world, and she has crushed it. And I think when you look at polls with the American people, they realize that she has done an amazing job. It's why when they put her in a head-to-head -head with Romney, she beats him by 26 Well, also, points. she's out of, just be careful. The other part yes, of it is she's not out the there attacking opponents like politicians have to do. She's out of the line of fire like Bill Clinton is. That's you fair. know, there's nothing more attractive than an ex-president. Or an ex-politician, as you know. You see how much more popular you are today, <laughs> Mr. Like Ford? Yes, because like you're, you not, you're not hatcheting the other person all the time. It's not a very attractive pose going after Barack Obama or going after John McCain. Yeah, she's not forced to be tenacious. And also, and, you immediately have to cut half the people off who don't support you. So the other half immediately doesn't like you because they're on the other side. With Secretary of State, we're all rooting for the success of our country, I'd like to exactly. think, mm -hmm. and, and the world. And, and, but, oh, and let's keep in mind that in, uh, there have been a lot of areas where the president has been criticized, but foreign policy and his wins yeah. on, the, on the international front are in, due in no small part to her. I mean, right. we, got, we have Libya, we have Egypt, we have, you know, we, she's out there in the Asia Pacific region dealing with China. I mean, this is someone who is literally Carmen San globe trotting <laughs> yeah. and, and absolutely, as you say, crushing it. Now, I, I wish you'd be a little tougher on Bibi, though. That well, guy gets a little confused about the relationship. I mean, well, we're the sponsoring country. Right. We're the country that pays them every year and helps them out and helps them with it. Of course, they're our ally and they should be respected. But don't get the idea that they're the big brother in this relationship. And sometimes I think Bibi, with his incredible ego, thinks he's the big brother and yeah. we're the little brother. And I think somebody's got to remind him who's paying. Well, that, that interesting, uh, the hot mics when you caught Sarkozy and Obama talking well, about Well, I got Bibi a little and, of that. But I think Henry had, the Secretary of State has to play some of that part, too. But by the way, I really think she did one really great job for Israel and for us. A couple weeks ago, it looked like inevitably we're going to face a situation where we'd be the only friend of Israel in the Security Council, and we would have to stand out there yep. and veto. It doesn't look good for us. It doesn't look good for Israel to have one friend in the world. And, and she has Nor does it look good for us to be the only friend to exactly. Israel and, as the global and It doesn't help us at all, so, and especially in the Middle East, but she managed to get Germany apparently is going to vote with us against us ceding the Palestinian delegation, and the French may abstain 
which is an incredibly strong Huge. development. And the British. So we, we have murked it up, which is what you want to do at certain times. So we don't get standing out there all alone with Israel as and, the last people. And in the working world. with another strong woman, Susan Rice. Susan I, Rice has been great. I, another, way, she got us into Libya, so did Samantha Power, who was once a, a, a Hillary critic. Remember? Uh, remember yeah. that one? Monster? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, she's, she's a monster. A monster. That's developed. That was, so politics means sometimes you get along. And now Hillary Clinton, I believe, is the America's favorite politician by 64 Well, she's not a politician, yes. she'll tell you, too. Well, I mean... Do you think she's going to run? Are you boosting that, her? No, that's right? what I'm saying. So you're doing you're it. You are boosting her. I think if, if I were her, I'm not her. I'm not her ally. I'm not a political ally. But I think what she ought to do is serve out this term. Take a break for a year or two. You know, like we all should do. Get healthy, relax, get our head clear, and decide if she wants to run for president. I Would think you, it's a decision you can make with a clear head. You can't make it in the middle of all this battle. So you're, ta you're talking 2016. Oh yeah. I mean, obviously. Well, if the president doesn't run again, Good, does she which go is his ability, then it, she would run. She would, would she have go to back run. to Congress? Oh, I don't think so. How can you, right? No. I don't know. She could do it if she wants to do it. I think, though, Alex, these there's no moments, seat now. These moments when we see politicians just being real people, I think, are really important. Even along, you know, I'm watching the GOP debates, and these moments that sometimes people perceive as stumbles reflect a humanity. And I think that's really important now when we think of our politicians as so detached from Americans, and it's almost like we forget that they go home and they have families and they have real lives. I think these moments that are just candid and spontaneous and authentic, which is, really which is why, he, yeah, lines. for Obama, who's had a hard time connecting, maybe there will be a a man in a loincloth <laughs> with a torch at 1600. <laughs> I'm not sure he's that good, good person Chris, either. Your book, <laughs> Hillary might be better. Your book, Jack Kennedy. What can what two lessons can President Obama leading into this re-election effort? What could he draw from? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just curious. Can I, can I, with your with yes. your indulgence? Yes. I'm just with your indulgence. A couple things, and these are tough. So uh, you asked me a tough. He has to justify a second term if he wants a second term. So the key is to show growth. It'll be better than this term. I am, I'm a veteran now. I can do a better job in the second term than I've done now. He has to do that because this hasn't been a great term in terms of popularity. So to do that, I think there's two steps. He has to admit there's a couple things he didn't do the way he should have done them. And he's grown and learned from those. Now, I, I could argue, we could always argue the stimulus package is too big, too small, whatever. He has to say our calculation on its size was wrong. We thought we could achieve an 8% unemployment rate with the size of the stimulus package for whatever other factors are involved that didn't work out that way just say that we all know that so just say, and then say what well, next time we're going to try to do it this way and with the help of the republicans and the voters i'm going to try to do it so if you show him kennedy's greatest moment in the presidency was when he admitted responsibility which he deserved for the failure of the bay of pigs after that he went up to 83 percent in job approval admittance you know, and the second thing is he has to draw a picture of the second term in another way, he's never told us what he would do if there were no Tea Party in the way, if there were no Eric Cantor in the way. Would there be a shift in the debt down the road? Would there be some kind of reform and I think of you're entitlement? Exactly right. it's, he has it's, to draw a picture. What is the vision? What is the vision? Because he has for to the sell future. us the new car. The to, last car exactly. didn't work out. If he says the new car he's selling us is, is as good as the one he sold us last time, and it won't sell. Chris will be back with us. Thank you're rushing you. Me, but thank I'm you. sorry to like, <laughs> say I feel this feel urgency like that this show has like a biblical match here. Thank you very much, Chris. And the book show. is is on sale. The best book about Kennedy out there. It's selling like no, it's the cake. best book ever. Actually, watch his show, and, uh, Hardball as, as the tonight are telling me on all the MSNBC. Time. Number three. Thank you, Chris. We'll be back. Thank you soon. Thank you.